One of my younger bros inside of my private school for creators asked me if he should go on a 24-7 monk mode before hitting his 10k per month from YouTube goal. I thought for a second and decided to tell him a story. After recording one of my recent videos, I was riding a motorcycle back home next to the road. I saw a group of very young guys. They were on BMXs, skateboards, scooters. But I reminded myself of how just a while ago I was just like them. I've had my close group of friends. We would just wake up, go to the skate park. We wouldn't have time to eat lunch. Why would we come back home? We just wanted to spend the whole day there. Then come back in the evening, play some video games, go to sleep, wake up the next day and repeat the same thing whole summer. That was such a fun period of my life. No responsibilities, no worries, the whole summer. And that was it. And now I'm here grinding every day, dedicating myself to my future self, delaying gratification all the time, doing the hard things so that my future self can have a fun time. I have responsibilities, I worry about the future. And in that situation, sitting on that motorcycle, I thought to myself, wait, those times weren't that good actually, I'm just not thinking about it right now. What I feel nostalgia to is the fun time of hanging out with friends, the sunsets, but in such situations, my brain never thinks of the bad stuff. When I was escaping to the skate park because I was not liked by my classmates. When I was getting into real bloody fights at school and so my mom was then called to the principal. When I was being rejected by every single girl that I ever wanted to get into relationship with. My brain doesn't include that in the nostalgia for some reason. I see this tendency in myself and I'm 100% sure that it is also true in your situation that when you look back, you only think about the good stuff. But when you look at right now, you look at how hard you're grinding every day, how you worry about the future and what's going to happen. But you have to remember that when you're going to be 20, 30, you're going to look back to this exact moment right now not remembering those things. You're going to look back with nostalgia, thinking, damn, these were the good times. And my question to you is, are you living the good times right now? Because the only reason why at 30 I'm going to look back at when I'm 17, thinking these were the good times, because I am not only working hard, but I am also living life. Every week, apart from school, I spend approximately 36 hours working on my YouTube channels and I have about 12 hours of free time. Which means that I am 25% slower towards my goals. I could achieve in 3 years something I'm going to achieve in 4 years. But actually, being on self-improvement doesn't mean sitting in your room autistically just grinding all day. It also means going out and actually experiencing life. At least once per week I go on a micro adventure to see a place I've never been to before, to record some beautiful scenes, to hike up a mountain. And what do you think is generally the highlight of my week? Do you think I remember the times when I was sitting in my room working on my website, writing a video script, recording a video? I don't remember that. So I could be one year faster, but in that case, three years would just absolutely disappear. I would turn 20, but I would be completely detached from reality, with no social skills, no friends, no love. So is the money worth it? Have you ever heard of the idea of working hard while also living a relatively normal life? I know it's super crazy, not trendy, Nobody talked about this on the internet before. How about you work hard 75% of the time that you have throughout the week, which is still a lot, and experience life for the 25%. How about you try to learn social skills, to go on adventures, to do something crazy, to make memories, to try some kind of new sport for the first time. How about you actually try to use what you've learned in theory from all the books and YouTube videos in practice? How about you use self-improvement for something that it's made for? For living a better life, especially in your teens? Because I want you to never forget, everything will fade away one day. 
And do you want to be laying on your deathbed wishing that you spend more time in your teens actually experiencing life rather than creating short form videos? Answering my bro's question, sure, monk mode is useful for a certain period of time, but how about you learn to work hard without any funny challenge in a normal life situation when you're also actually living it? Carpe diem, my brother. And if you want to join my inside circle, just like him, then click the first link in the description and I will see you on the side where people are sick of being consumers and where they want to be creators of their own reality.